Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nerds video series on Bit Manipulation Interview Question Series and this is question number 5. And the question is, count the number of bits to be flipped to convert A to B. Meaning, if your A is like this, 2, and your B is 1. So the binary representation of 2 is 1, 0, and for 1 is 0, 1. How many bits has to be flipped from A to make this A look like B? We have to flip this 0 to make it 1 and we have to flip this one to make it zero. Then only this guy can look like this guy, right? So the answer is we have to flip two bits. So similarly, if your A is maybe five and B is maybe three, let's see how many bits we have to flip. One, zero, one, so this is five and three is zero, double one. So these two are equal, right? Because we have to make this to this, so these Two bits are equal we have to change this and this so total number of flipping is required is two so i think you would have understood the point now let's see how we'll do this and the easiest way is if you do a xor b the result is something x but whatever this x is the set bits in this x is actually the count how many bits you have to flip because XOR property is if you do XOR between 0 and 1 result is 1 if you do 1 and 0 result is 1 if it is 0 0 result is 0 and if it is 1 1 result is 0 so if you see the pattern here if both the bits are equal then the result is 0 otherwise it is 1 so we want to see this pattern only right so if it is 0 and the second uh, another bit is one so this increments our count right so similarly for example if this is what you are doing XOR with like 0 1 XOR with 1 and 0 so 1 and 0 1 0 and 1 1 so the answer is double one meaning we have to flip two bits so after XOR you just have to find how many set bits are there that's it and I have already given a video like how to find a set bits. So please check out that. So this was one of the way. Another way could be, yes, obviously what you can do if your A is like one and zero and B is like zero and one, what you can do, you can check this first bit is equal to the first bit of this one. If they are not equal, then you know that, okay, you have to flip it. Okay. So you can keep this count. So count become one and then you right shift. Then in that case, if you right shift, then it would start looking like we have 0, 1 and 0 and 0 because this one will get discarded, right? And this one will come here. So this is the new position for this guy and this is the new position for this B. Now also you have to see the same place. Is this bit equal to this bit? No. Then your count increment plus 1 and then you again do the right shift. So this is like zero, zero, and this is again zero, zero. Now you see both are zero. Then you have to stop this loop and your count is two. So this is also one of the way. So cool, right? So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.